It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a can of Arbor Ales Space Hardware. It's a 6.6% ABV New England IPA and the description is super heavily hop New England IPA brewed with Equinot, Galaxy, Mosaic and Simcoe hops. What's really interesting about this can is the fact that, look at, I'm wrapping my hand around the can and it's a great big can, yeah? It's a, it's a 568 milliliter can of beer here. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Oh, oh. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening, beer in the glass then. Oh look at this! Look at this, I'm really excited, really excited. I'm a massive fan of Arbor Ales. I really like their breakfast stout. Um, I've just reviewed an American IPA in a, in a one pint can. It was terrific. Now we've moved on to their New England IPA, 6.6% ABV. If you want to see the previous review, have a little look on YouTube. It's called Arbor Ales. It's called Rocket Man, Rocket Man American IPA. Two finger white head, terrific. Terrific looking beer. Looks exactly like a New England IPA should. Hazy, kind of cloudy, straw coloured, amberish coloured beer. Slow moving carbonation. Let's get the aroma. Oh, that's super hoppy. I, I almost got hot burn in my nose just by, just by getting the aroma. Oh, blimey, 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 wow. So tropical, peach, mango, citrus, punch bowl fruits. Lovely, absolutely lovely aroma. Cheers. Thank you very much to the lovely bloke who sent me the beer. Cheers, thank you very much. Let's dive in. Oh, I gotta put that down. Stone the Crows, Stone the Crows, what an amazing, amazing, amazing New England IPA from Arbor Ales. They have really pushed the boat out here, they really have. It's a, a man on the side of the dock literally pushing the boat out. Um, full of flavour, absolutely chock full of flavour. The drinkability is terrific, it's a nice level of carbonation, pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. Um, wow! I, I'm still breathing hops at you guys now. There's, there's pineapple coming through, there's some grapefruit. Oh. Unbelievable, unbelievable beer. I, I, do you know, I want the, the passion, the passion that these brewers now are producing. Well, they've been doing it for years. What am I talking about? Um, but the passion from the brewer, the, 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 the willingness, that's the word, the willingness to, to raise the bar, to rise to another level, to say, Arborales, we produce really good beer, but we want to make perfect beer. We want to make like like outstanding beer that people are raving about, and, and we want people from all over the UK to travel down to our brewery and, and buy our beer off us. And the only way we're going to do that is by producing monumental beers like this. And they've done it. They've done it. They're an hour and a half away from me. I live in Barry in South Wales. They live more or less straight across the water. Or well, they live, they brew straight across the water and that way a bit. Um, I can get there in about an hour and 10, hour and 20 minutes. I wanna go to their brewery. I wanna go to their brewery. I wanna buy some of their beer. I wanna do a, a brewery tour. I wanna chat to the head brewer. Yeah, I'm gonna get down there. I really gotta get down there. This is the highest order. This is high class, high class 
New England IPA. It's just monumental stuff. There's a big movement in the UK. There's a big movement around the world, in Europe, around the world, America, UK. In that there's, there's brewers out there who are, they just want to push the bar. They just want to see how far they can, they can push hops and push beers and push these New England IPAs. And your cloud waters, your verdants in the UK, your other halves, your trilliums in America. Polish craft brewers, uh, brewers from all over the, the world. They want to, they just want to keep pushing, they just want to keep perfecting the, the, the different styles of beer that are out there. And then there's breweries who go, I really like what they're doing over there, and we want to do the same thing. And I believe this is what Arbor Ales have decided to do. They've decided to go, we make great beer, we want to make like like beer that people queue around the block for. <sighs> Terrific. Just a lovely kind of creamy depth. So they probably added oats to the beer. Give you that kind of slippery creaminess um, very refreshing beer at 6.6 percent ABV they've managed to hold on to, to the beer being very refreshing um, the middle it's all about the middle the flavors all in the middle of grapefruit pineapple mango passion fruit all of those kind of lovely tropical flavors in the middle of the beer um, there's there's a little bit of sweetness to begin with there's no real bitterness on the back end. It's exactly how a New England IPA should be. I'm, I'm more than happy. More than, more than happy with this beer. I'm going to rate it. Well, let's see first if there's anything on the side of this can. No. Just to this green brew with Equinox, Galaxy, Mosaic and Simcoe hops. The beer looks great. Look at the lace in on the glass, look at the lovely head on the beer, great look to the beer, great aroma, wonderful taste. Rating, Arbor Ale Space Hardware, one pint can, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer, absolutely wonderful New England IPA. This would, if you put this in a blind taste test with Cloud Water and Verdant and Other Half and Trillium and all them wonderful breweries out there, I am sure this would challenge. You probably wouldn't have a great idea if it was a blind taste test. What be, if it was brewed by Trillium or Other Half or, or Cloud Water or Verdant? You just wouldn't. It, it's up there. That's what I'm trying to say. It's up there with the quality of, of those breweries' beers. Thanks for watching. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.